What's up, everyone? James Lynch here doing a quick reaction video to the news that Amanda Nunes will defend her bantamweight title against Juliana Pena. This according to TSN's Aaron Bronsetter. And that UFC 289 card going to be taking place in Vancouver. If you missed it, I just did a video on that. Kind of figured they were going to go this route. Uh, when Typically, when the UFC comes to Canada, they tend to give the headliner a title fight or a fight that maybe isn't as notable as some of the other, you know, events that they have in Vegas and New York. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm excited to see Amanda Nunes compete again, one of the best fighters of all time. It's just we saw this rematch, and I think it was a good indication of how the third fight is going to go between the two of them. Now, of course, uh, Juliana Pena obviously uh, finishing Amanda Nunes two fights ago, one of the biggest upsets we've seen in a very long time. Can't take anything away from that. I just feel like the rematch kind of showed, at least in my opinion, and I want to hear from you guys. I think the rematch showed that Nunes had an off night because in that rematch, she dominated Pena the entire fight. Uh, that was back at UFC 277. There were some rumblings about Amanda Nunes and Irene Aldana. I would have been fine with that in the sense that at least it's a new fight here. Um, I, I just don't know why they're rushing to do this trilogy fight. I guess because they don't have a lot of contenders here for Nunes. Maybe Aldana wasn't ready to go. I'm not entirely sure here, but uh, we're going to get the trilogy. And there is a bit of an angle here in terms of the location. Uh, Juliana Pena, you can see there from Spokane, Washington, uh, driving distance to Vancouver, Canada. So, um, you know, and that's one thing I should mention as well with this Vancouver card. Probably going to see a few fighters from the Pacific Northwest on there. Michael Chiesa, I'm sure they'll try and put him on that card. Of course, he lost his fight uh, this Saturday against Li Jing Liang. Um, you know, there's a couple of fighters from uh, that area and also some Canadians as well that I'm sure they're going to try and put on the card too. So here's what we got for UFC 289. I did this in the last video. So far, we've got Stephen Thompson and Michelle Pereira, Jasmine Jazavidius, Miranda Maverick, a lot of Canadians on here. Marc Andre Berrio, Kyle Nelson, Diana Belbita, basically a Canadian now, trains there, uh, Hakeem Dewadu and Eamon Zahabi, and then a couple other fights in between there Danny Gay and Nate Land we really like that fight um, but they're gonna have to I think beef this up a little bit for a pay-per-view like again Nunez alone whoever she fights obviously that's gonna be a big ticket but um, I think they're gonna need a really strong co-main event here especially for a pay-per-view um, I don't imagine a lot of fans are gonna be that thrilled to see the trilogy here just because of what happened in the rematch like if they had a, a close fight in the rematch if it was like you know one of those like split decisions I could see there maybe being a reason to do this but I just think that the second fight really showed that Amanda is the better fighter but again uh, uh, here we are going to see how the trilogy ends up happening again. I'm not counting Pena out in this fight. I just think that the second fight really showed how dominant Nunez was in their rematch. And like I said, my opinion is I think Nunez had an off night at UFC 269, her losing the title there. So I'm going to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who are you picking in this fight? I'm going uh, Amanda Nunez. I think most people are as well. Curious to see what the odds are in this. And what fights do you want to see added here? Like I said, I think they need a strong co-main event for this card to really get people uh, amped to, to buy the pay-per-view. I think they need a couple fights, actually, uh, to really uh, make this worth the money. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Lynch on Sports. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.